Hi everyone. So during today's times, we don't necessarily always have money to go out every single night. It's not always safe either. Uh, maybe you don't want to meet somebody or maybe you are sitting at home with a loved one and you guys want a quiet night in. So I have this kind of fun idea where I'm going to be veganizing dinner and a movie and taking um, particular movies that I like that I'm going to theme them with vegan food. So whether I'm buying it, uh, making it, or, per or getting it and bringing it home, I'm going to share with you different ideas on things that you can eat that are vegan that will go with your movie. Hi everyone. So today's first dinner and a movie ever is going to be featuring Memoirs of a Geisha. This has actually been one of my favorite um, films since it came out. Um, I kind of really relate to the whole, um, her working her whole life to get what she wanted, to get where she wanted to be, and then having to get through economic decline and still maintaining who she is. I really like, I really get that and I really respect that. So I, I have even read the book. I just think that this is just, uh, it's, it's so well written. You'd almost think that this was actually written by a geisha, um, herself. Uh, this is actually a, f a fictional character based on realistic events. I really love historical fiction. I've always been a fan of it. So uh, today's very first dinner and a movie. I'm going to plan on doing more of these. Some really great ideas coming up uh, for you guys for these dinner and a movies. Um, I really love movies. I really love um, mainly historical fiction books. And also, um, I used to watch dinner and a movies when they were on. Uh, on TV uh, a while back, and I ha I don't know if they're still on TV anymore. I don't really have the time to watch TV as much um, as I used to. But one thing I I liked about dinner and a movie was the food was always themed after dinner and a movie. However, dinner and a movie is never a vegetarian or vegan uh, dishes. I had first became a vegetarian at the age of 12 and uh, it extended into my 20s and now I've decided to go vegan. So I want to show you just some items that I um, picked up. Uh, I have, I'm not cooking these myself. I'm actually sort of infusing the very first dinner and a movie with another request to please uh, tell us more about vegetarian vegan restaurants that you're trying. So I picked up some uh, Asian food that corresponds with these particular um, movies. So I'll show you the good stuff. So first off, I'm going to disclaim my packaging materials. Um, I know this is a this is a vegetarian restaurant with mainly vegan items, but of course they don't have green packaging. So just as a disclaimer, I, I sincerely apologize for that. And this is basically faux uh, duck. Uh, certain birds that are not very popular in um, in American eating culture or are more popular in Asian cultures is duck. So basically this is it and it has noodles and chives and this is all soy protein which is, I know is not great for you but this is sort of a dinner and a movie treat and I promised I'd show you some more of these. So we're gonna, actually going to be adding the, um, the duck and noodles to this particular cup of mushrooms, carrots, bok choy, and a very good veggie broth. So we're going to be adding it to that and that's what it is for. I'm a huge fan of this garlic sauce right here. This is mainly vegan restaurant. I think they only have three vegan dishes or three vegetarian dishes. I don't know why they're vegetarian. I haven't bought them. So, uh, but I love garlic sauce. I've even purchased this myself at the supermarket. Double check to make sure there's no of those ingredients and they're not. Chopsticks. I think most people know how to eat with chopsticks and a soy sauce.